everyone, it's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. So I am back at home. I am back with my dog. I am so excited to be home for the summer. But anyways, today I'm going to be talking about five misconceptions about marine biology. So when people hear marine biology, they have a lot of opinions and they typically do not know anything about the major. So I'm going to debunk these misconceptions or I don't know what you would call it, debunk, address, Okay, I hope you guys enjoy and let's dive in. Common misconception number one is it's a lot of field work. So unless you're working in ecotourism, so snorkeling, zip lining, whale watching, or anything of that sort, you're not really gonna have a lot of hands-on work. You are going to have some, but I would say the ratio is like 80% lab work, 20% field work. So I work in ecotourism. I have a job on a whale watching boat. So I do constantly do field work. But again, that is because I work in ecotourism. If you want a job that is constant field work, I would highly recommend working in an aquarium or like I said, ecotourism. A lot of ecotourism companies require you to have a marine biology degree. I know that I personally didn't need a marine biology degree, but that is because my boss already knew that I had a lot of knowledge in that aspect, in that area, and that I was currently getting a marine biology degree. But personally, I think I would much rather have a job in ecotourism than in a lab. When I do finish my degree, there will probably be a good chance that I will use my degree to get a job in ecotourism rather than a lab. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up in a lab. Maybe I'll end up on a whale watching boat. Who knows? But yes, common misconception number one is it is a lot of hands-on or field work, which sadly, it is not. Common misconception number two is it is an easy major. The amount of times I have been told that I took the easy biology route by taking marine biology is insane. For those of you who are not aware of the course requirements that come with a marine biology degree, let me explain them to you. So you have gen chem, organic chemistry, biochemistry, statistics, physics one and physics two, you also have genetics, you have evolution, you have so many science classes, and I am taking pretty much the same gen ed course requirements as my friend who wants to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. So if that doesn't give you any idea of how hard of a major this is, just think the people who wanna be nurses and doctors are taking the same general requirement classes that I am taking. Marine biology is not just, oh, I wanna play with fish or I wanna play with whales and study whales and dolphins and be a sea world trainer. It is a lot of science. It is a STEM degree. And in my opinion, there are no easy STEM degrees because STEM is so hard. <laughs> I am a woman in STEM. That is what I tell myself. Like if I'm like, oh my God, I can't do this. I'm like, Michaela, you are a woman in STEM. And my chemistry professor, I was having a mental breakdown in her office hours. And she looks at me and she goes, Michaela, you have everything going for you. You are a woman in STEM. People are going to admire you and look up to you. And I'm like, Lisa, you're right. I just got to get through your class if it doesn't kill me first. <laughs> but yeah, for any major, please do not tell that person that is in that major that it is easy. Every major has its troubles. And yes, okay, a STEM major may not be the same as an art major, but they are different levels of hard. Taking a science class, yeah, it's gonna be hard because it has math, chemistry, all of the other sciences and math that come along with it. But if you're an art major, Drawing it ain't easy. That is not easy. So every major has its difficulties and you cannot compare a STEM major to an art major or an elementary education major or an education major in general or business or any, is business considered a STEM major? Someone let me know down below. If you're a business major, are you considered a STEM major? Because I'm not sure. But yeah, little tip, do not tell marine biology majors or marine biologists they took the easy STEM route because it won't end well for you. Common misconception number three is all marine biologists want to play with dolphins or work at SeaWorld or study dolphins somewhere along those lines. 
No. As far as I go, yes, I do want to study whales and dolphins. I, thank you, Izzy. I want to be a marine mammologist. That is my dream. That is all I want to do. But just because I want to do that does not mean every marine biologist wants to. There are so many different fields of marine biology. You have coral, algae, mammals, reptiles, birds. You have so many different areas of marine biology. And to assume that someone wants to work at SeaWorld because they are a marine biology major or a marine biologist is aggravating. I know most of the people that are like, oh, do you want to work at SeaWorld when they find out you're a marine biology major or a marine biologist is not doing it to like degrade you or be rude to you. But I think it's safe to say like 95% of marine biology majors don't want to work at SeaWorld. <laughs> Which there's nothing wrong if you do want to work at SeaWorld um, with your marine biology degree. It's just not very common. From what I know, most animal trainers have a degree in animal behavior or psychology or something along those lines. So yeah, just don't assume that every marine biology major wants to work with whales and dolphins. I've had conversations with my friends in marine biology classes that say they think whales and dolphins are the most boring thing ever and that they want to work with algae and they want to do algae research. And I, I sit there and I'm like, how do you think whales and dolphins are boring? But you like algae. But then I have to remember, you know, different strokes for different folks. Common misconception number four is marine biologists hate fishermen and the fishing industry and that cannot be farther from the truth. I think this has been a huge misconception especially over the past like month, month and a half ever since Seaspiracy came out. If you guys haven't seen my video where I debunk Seaspiracy with a commercial fisherman, please go watch it. It's very long but very informative. I'll put a card up here. Please go watch it. But a lot of people think that just because that they are fishermen that people like me and other marine biologists hate fishermen when that's not true most fishermen want to see the ocean thrive and don't want to deplete the ocean but it's people that watch seaspiracy or other documentaries like that and they're like i hate fishermen and i think marine biologists hate fishermen too when that's not the case at all marine biologists have actually found it helpful to work with commercial fishermen and the fishing industry because they can help get fish counts and different data on different species of fish and different fish populations. So to say that all marine biologists hate fishermen is just incorrect. Um, we actually do love fishermen. I have friends that are fishermen. I don't have a problem with fishermen. The only people I have problems with are people who like to litter in the ocean. And now, it's not just irresponsible fishermen that do that. It's people who go on the beach and leave their trash. It's people who go fishing from a dock and throw their lines in or don't pick up after their lines. So to say that marine biologists hate fishermen is, uh, like I said, it's incorrect. You need to rephrase that and say marine biologists dislike people who do not respect and want to cherish our oceans. <laughs> At least that's my opinion. I'm sure there are some marine biologists out there that are not the biggest fan of fishermen, but as far as my opinion goes, I think they're great. They provide a lot of great insight. And lastly, misconception number five is you don't make any money, which that's not true either. And I don't know where people get this information because it takes a simple Google search and you can figure out that Marine biologists make a decent amount of money. They're not going to be millionaires, that's for darn sure. But if you especially have your master's degree, you're going to make probably over $100,000 if you land the right job. I think a lot of people think that we don't make a lot of money because they look at SeaWorld trainer salaries, which they make less than $60,000 a year. They get paid a little over minimum wage, I believe, last time I checked. So if you're going off of... SeaWorld trainer salaries, yeah, marine, marine biology majors don't make anything. But if you're gonna go off of Google searches and other jobs than SeaWorld trainers, marine biologists make a decent amount of money. But that just ties back to misconception number three. You cannot think every marine biologist wants to work at SeaWorld and therefore you have to look at 
other jobs that marine biologists have to look at their salary other than sea world trainers. And you have to think a lot of marine biologist jobs don't say marine biology. They're gonna be like environmentalists, like they're gonna have other job titles. So if you look up marine biologist job salary, you're probably not going to get the most accurate like that $52,000 probably isn't the most accurate just because there's other job titles that don't include marine biologists that make a lot of money. Those were five common misconceptions about marine biology. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I have a really exciting giveaway when we hit 2,000 subscribers. You guys are really going to like this one if you liked my 1,000 subscriber one. But like I said, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!